Good morning LEGO fans and Star Wars enthusiasts, the wait is finally over. Just yesterday we got the official reveal of Jabba's sail barge, and along with it the gift we purchased set that has been officially announced. First up let's talk about the LEGO Star Wars gift we purchased, set number 40730, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. This set will be available exclusively with the purchase of Jabba's sail barge, it is a brick built recreation of Luke's lightsaber, packing a compact 145 pieces. This isn't the first time we've seen a LEGO lightsaber gift we purchase. In fact, we got a similar set back in 2021 with set 40483, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. But this new version is based on the iconic green lightsaber Luke wields during Return of the Jedi. It comes with a black display stand and a small nameplate, measure measuring a cool 26 centimeters in length. Now let's dive into the star of the show. Set 75397, Jabba's Sail Barge. This is the final 18 plus D2C set of 2024, and it's one you don't want to miss. Retailing for just shy of $500, this set includes a whopping 3,942 pieces and 11 minifigures. A perfect throwback to Return of the Jedi, which celebrated its 40th anniversary this year. This is the first time in over a decade that LEGO has released Jabba's Sail Barge, with the last version being set 75020 from 2013. So what's new this time round? One of the standout features of this set is the roster of 11 minifigures, many of whom are returning for the first time since 2013. We've got Jabba the Hutt, Bid Fortuna, Princess Leia in her Hutt Slayer outfit, Kif Banner, Kif, Kif Banner, Vizam, Wolf, Max Rebo, R2D2 with a tray, C3PO, Salacious B Crumb, and a Gamorrean Guard. These characters really help explain the $500 price tag, with many fan favourite figures making their long awaited return. The building dimensions of this brick built sail barge is a massive 77cm long, making it the longest UCS sail barge to date. The model sits on its UCS style black stand with a printed plaque, giving it an elegant display and look, but still maintaining plenty of playability. The set isn't just for show, it includes five rooms packed inside offering tons of features. Max Rebo's room is at the stern featuring the exclusive blue musical wizard. We have Jabba's throne room where the crime lord sits in all of his glory. Although I don't remember Jabba being so green and he's missing his piercing blue eyes. There is a kitchen at the centre of the build and then there's a guard room which is perfect for the Gamorrean guards and other henchmen. And then we have Kifana's room featuring another exclusive minifigure. The large orange tails and large side panels are built using oversized elements which add to the complexity and the price of the set. At nearly $500 this set is definitely on the expensive side, but for fans of LEGO Star Wars, the combination of scale, detail and rare minifigures could make it worth the investment. The accessibility of the interior which features numerous compartments for each of the unique characters and the ability to recreate iconic scenes from Return of the Jedi only adds to its appeal. Now that we've got a decent look at Jabba's sail barge, I want to know what you think. Will you be picking up this absolutely massive unit of a UCS set? when it releases on October the 3rd. Which of the 11 minifigures are you most excited about adding to your collection? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a most wonderful day. Bye!